All right, I'm exhausted. It is like four in the morning. Um, busy doing some work. Some stuff. Some stuff. Working on some stuff. Working on some stuff. I got a tables full of books and shit. Got a couple of books I've been trying to read. Taking some notes down. Magic little notepad. Doing a lot of stuff. Getting ready for uh, tomorrow. <sighs> so I was going to tell you guys about this application, uh, My Fitness Pal. They have it on your phone. You can download it if you have a smartphone, like an iPhone. I use it. Um, it's called My Fitness Pal. Okay. Um, you can also go online, MyFitnessPal.com, and you can log pretty much your whole diet. So, if you want to take dieting seriously, and now that I do this, um, the results are insane. What you need to do is start logging your food if you're serious about changing your body. Okay? When I started doing this, there's no more guesswork. There's no clean foods, dirty foods. Get that out of your head. It's about calories in, calories out, and about your macronutrients. Okay? That's the main thing that's going to make your body composition. And you're going to have to track your food. So I weigh my food out on a scale. And it's pretty simple. You weigh your food out, you use a little application on your phone, you scan it, it puts it all in, it has like a barcode scanner if you want to use that. Or you can just go online, MyFitnessPal.com or on your phone still, and just um, enter all your food in. I mean, a lot of people know about this, but a lot of people still don't do it. I'm telling you, you have to do it. You have to log my fitness pal if you're serious you I mean you could just eat clean foods like you know you, I used this is what I used to do I used to eat brown rice and I would eat oatmeal dry tuna boiled chicken broccoli and I would eat that non-stop egg whites that's it you know take some fish oil maybe a little bit of peanut butter and that's it and yeah it did work it did but I was miserable and did it work as as good as it could no what it did was, it helped get me lean, but I didn't really know about the progression at all. I didn't know if I was getting bigger, getting smaller, really. I just look in the mirror, you know? Um, I didn't know if anything in my diet needed to change, if I needed to increase anything, because I didn't know exactly how much I was eating. I was just eating. So if you want to take it very seriously, you're going to have to weigh out your food. And if you can't do that, at the very least, you're going to have to log your food as best you can without weighing it if you don't have a scale but I would suggest getting a scale um, I do it and I told you I'm making see that I made serious results changing it up um, so my fitness pal app start logging your food keep track of everything you're gonna have to figure out how many calories you need how many um, grams of protein you need how much carbs how much fat uh, maybe I'll do a video on the best of my knowledge about that later. There's tons of people on YouTube talking all this stuff that will help you out. But still, a lot of people ask me, you know, what's that app on your phone? Like, how do you do this? How do you do that? What do you, what's your diet? I eat every three hours. You don't have to do that. I got introduced to this a while ago. And, um, I mean, it really, really, really helped me out. Just log your food. Hit your numbers, and don't really worry about where it's coming from, okay? Now, when I say that, I say it mainly for body composition, because honestly, I believe that food is powerful in its own way. Like, I think if you just ate, got your calories, but you got no nutrition, obviously, no micronutrients, um, none of those antioxidants, uh, phytonutrients, and all that stuff. Um, I'm a little tired, it's four in the morning. But yeah, I mean, if you don't get that stuff, you're not going to be healthy, you know what I mean? So, if you can eat healthy food, put that, you know, as your main staple. They say this, it's called flexible dieting if it fits your macros. What they say is, eat at least two servings of fruit a day, eat at least two servings of vegetables a day, and then let the rest pretty much fall where it may. That's one version of it. Another version is, you can eat, you eat healthy all the time, and... You're allowed to sneak in some naughty food here and there, quote-unquote naughty. 
like ice cream. I eat ice cream, or cereal or pop tarts was the big thing. You can sneak you can sneak those things in your diet, and you won't get fat. I remember before I used to eat that stuff. Um, like you know, if I was trying to cut, I would not touch ice cream. I would not touch a cookie. I, th- I eat a cookie or two cookies, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I can feel myself getting fat, or oh, I feel like shit. But it's all mental, because we're programmed to believe that's not, that's not, you know, skinny food, you know, it's junk, so it's like, I'm going to get fat if I eat two of them, it's not the case. It's moderation, and not going over your calories, um, so if you're logging your calories, and you're, you know, getting all the nutrition you need, mainly, to sum this up, because I'm all over the place then you should be good to squeeze in, you know, a, like a cookie or two or some ice cream or whatever, whatever you need um, to achieve your goals and still be healthy. Don't worry about complex carbs versus non-complex carbs. I eat white rice all the time. I'm getting leaner. Um, there's really not a difference. A lot of it's hype. A lot of it was to sell books and all sorts of stuff. But I was a slave to it for a long time, to those dieting myths. And you know what? Never again. Log your stuff. Take charge of what's going into your mouth. Take responsibility. If you really want to achieve the physique that you desire. Don't just wing it. Don't think, you know, magically there's some magic foods out there that are just going to get you lean. And there's some other foods out there that are like, going to make you fat, because it really comes down to your calories in versus calories out, you know, and those macronutrient profiles. I mean, I've tried all the diets, paleo, typical bodybuilding, eating every three hours, I tried low-carb diets, I tried high-carb diets, I tried super high-protein, just log your stuff. Keep it simple, this video is already long enough, that's it. My fitness pal. Get it on your phone. Use the website, log your food, and figure out your calories, because you, then you'll know. Another thing, too, is if you don't know your calories and you haven't figured them out yet, just log your food. See how much you eat. Man, I was about to turn the video off, but here's the other thing. A lot of people are like, man, I can't lose weight. Like, I barely eat. I can't lose weight. You know what? Log your food for a week, everything that goes in your mouth, and see if you really don't eat that many calories, okay? And then for people that can't gain weight, Log your food for a week and see if you're really eating everything. Because you know what? You're probably not eating enough. And if you can't gain any weight, you need to eat more. Simple as that. See ya.